praise the Lord. Uh, this morning we want to welcome you to our Sunday service, which we are bringing to you online, wherever you are at home, members of St. Luke's Omoja, and whoever else is watching us. Uh, today being uh, Palm Sunday, when we are entering into the Passion Week, and uh, we want to welcome you to feel blessed, even also as uh, the other services continue for Sunday school and teens, uh, which will also be coming to you live. The Lord be with you. We want to welcome the praise and worship team uh, to lead us in the worship session. Welcome. Pigia Yesu Makofi, shangwe na vigele gele kwa buwana, hallelujah. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. 
praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord. And that's why I praise you. I praise you. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. Oh yes, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. Come on, just lift your hands to the Lord. Just lift your hand and talk to this God. Our God is a faithful God. He's a covenant-keeping God. And as He says in His Word, that He will never leave us nor forsake us. That whenever we seek His face, our God is so faithful and so merciful and He's going to answer our prayers. Come on, just open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Just open your mouth and give thanks to the Lord. Our God is so faithful. Our God is so merciful that He's going to answer our prayers. That whenever we pray, our God is so faithful to answer us that whenever we seek his face our God is going to listen to us in a special way Baba tunaomba utushike mkono tunaomba uende na siye buwana utushike mkono wa subo ya leo uneni na mioyo yetu wakati kama huwe buwana yesu tunakwalika miongoni mwetu nishike mkono buwana nishike mkono ya suwe nishike mkono wana nishike mkono yesu nishike mkono wana nishike mkono ya suwe We welcome you into our lives, O oh God, that Father, you may come and change our story. The Lord, you may come and take control. That Father, you may come and dwell in our lives. Father, we welcome you, O oh God. Baba, tuambia utakalo maishani mwetu. Tupenguvu ya kushinda haya mataribu, Ewan. Mala wewe ni mungu mkuna ulinga nishwi na mwingine. Yes, Lord, may you give us the strength. Father, may you give us the strength to walk out of this, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor, O oh God. Niamie utakalo bwana. Let's sing together. Nipenguvu ya ku 
kushinda majaribu Yesu na kuitaji Bwana maisha ni mwangu Yesu niambie niambie utakalo Bwana Yesu tupe nguvu tupe nguvu ya kushinda humble prayer this morning, O oh God, that, Lord, we need you in our lives, that even in this time of the struggles, O oh God, that even in this time that we have many diseases in our lives, O oh God, Father, we ask that you may give us the strength. Lord, we ask that you may come through for us, O oh God. We ask you, King Jesus, that you may be with us, O oh God. Father, may you come and dwell in our midst. May you come and change our story. Lord, may you come through for us, O oh God, that as your word says, O okay, Jehovah, King, that whenever we seek you in truth and in righteousness, oh God, Father, you are going to answer us. That even not even this disease, oh God, is going to overcome us, oh God. Father, we thank you because you are faithful. We thank you because you are a covenant keeping God. Lord, may you do a miracle in our lives that we shall come out of this place, oh God, proclaiming of your goodness. We thank you, Jesus, and we honor you because you are a good God. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Come on, let us give a hand clap to the Jesus. In that mood of prayer, we shall pray uh, the collect of the day being a Palm Sunday. Hosanna to the Son of God, of David. Hosanna to the King of Kings, who for our sake and our salvation was content to be betrayed by sinners, willingly offering himself as the living bread. Grant that we shall follow you truly sincerely and selfless as you taught us. Amen. We shall now uh, uh, have our seats and we shall continue in the mood of prayer within the week. Last This week that has ended, on Tuesday there is a family of Alich and Were whom they lost their brother among others that uh, we have continued to do uh, pastoral care to them. And so in that mood of prayer I want to humbly request uh, canon uh, to pray for these families. Lord, we come before you at a time like this that you went through the triumph entry and people laid palms so that you could step on them awaiting the tribulations and trials, betrayals, and yet you conquered all this for us. We pray for the family of our brother Richard Were, who at this time may not even understand because he lost his brother yesterday. We pray for him and as a church and the family church, we stand with him. And we continue to remember even the old mother of Richard who is at home the brothers and sister, the family, the whole family of the wearers, that, Lord, you be together with them. Specifically because of the joint venture that you have enjoined us with Richard, who is a member of the PCC, and an IT person in this church. We pray for him at this difficult moment, when sometimes words means nothing. Yet, in your own way, you're going to encourage him. We pray for him. May the presence of God means, mean everything to them, even at this time. May you help uh, the family, the fraternity of St. Luke's, to uplift the wearer's family and others who could be going through the same. This we ask in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Uh, today being the Palm Sunday, we mark the 40 days of prayer since we started praying on Ash Wednesday. And therefore, we want to thank the fellowships uh, who have um, always come here every morning and every evening, even as we observe the social distance. Thank you so much, fellowship members and leaders, for ensuring that um, we have continued to ensure uh, the bar of prayer has been above board. And therefore, we now put off the lamp uh, because uh, 40 days are gone. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We now welcome the epistle reading. Uh, praise the Lord. Our epistle reading will come from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 5 to 11. Our epistle reading will come from the book of Philippians, uh, chapter 2, verse 5 to 11. Uh, my name is Sheb Mugi, and I love Christ as my personal savior. And I will read. Your, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And this is the word of God. We shall now prepare our hearts to listen from the Lord. Our preacher today is our vicar, Canon Minor. Uh, nothing is taken for granted, Canon. We have continued to pray for you. And to usher our Canon in, I want to request the praise and worship uh, to give us one worship song uh, to prepare our hearts to listen from the Lord. Baby, 
Direct. Praise the Lord. You are those who are watching us at home. The pastoral team of St. Luke's is still with you. As we go through this difficult moment, I know we have a lot of anxiety, but the Lord is good, and we are going to make it even through this. We come to another time to listen to the Word of God, and especially. At this time, this Sunday being the Palm Sunday, and because we are getting into the times when Jesus got into triumph entry, and after that he went through all the trials and tribulations, and it is recorded in the Word of God that he humbled himself so that he could be exalted. We are living at a time in this first, this being the first Palm Sunday, where we shall celebrate at home because of what we are going through as a nation. And yet, we can still trust as we have been bringing messages of encouragement to us, even when we are at home, places of work, that even at this time, God has not forsaken us because he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Brothers and sisters, we come together to remember this act of triumph, entry of our Lord Jesus Christ, and even coming to the end of the 40 days of prayer, where we have prayed, we have called upon the name of the Lord, we have prayed because of what the world is going through, the coronavirus experience that is making us shake to the core. And we are wondering what is happening. And so we come to this triumph entry while we 
still are not sure what is happening. And so, brothers and sisters, we come to you on this Triumph Sunday that is called Palm Sunday, where we give our children to walk with the palms, to show victory, and even to lay them so that as Jesus, they were laid for him to walk in a donkey, which also showed humility. We come to you to tell you that even though as a country the world is going through this, that there is victory in our God. That Jesus, irrespective of what he went through, he persevered, he humbled himself, and out of the humility, he was exalted that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord, to the glory, to the honor and the glory of his name. And so as we talk about the triumph entry, that the Lord could go to the cross, which never meant anything. And out of the cross, there was a lot of agony. There was a lot of loss. The many people lost their loved ones. Even Jesus looked at his mother and wondered what to do. Jesus was betrayed by the closest friends. And yet, out of all this, the cross keeps on shining even today. There is power in the cross that even though it was made to have shame, to bring shame, but brothers and sisters, we can praise God today that the cross, when we look at the cross, is a sign of hope is a sign that there is good things coming on our lives, on our way. And even though we go through this as a nation, as a world today, that we can trust the power of the cross. The power of the cross. We can look upon the cross and have hope, even in this hopeless world that we are going through. Tuamshukuru Mungu kwamba kwa ajili ya msalaba tume sisi tumepata nafasi ya kuja na kuwa pamoja naye ingawa alihidhihakiwa akatemewa mate akaachiliwa na marafiki zake ambao walikuwa wa karibu sana kwamba siku ya leo kwamba alipoingia katika Yerusalemu akijitayarisha kwa mateso ambayo yangempata na yaliyompata ili aweze kukamilisha Habari hizi nzuri za wokovu. Brothers and sisters, the cross, the sufferings of our Lord made us to be who we are today. The missionaries came and went through a lot so that we can stand today and make the gospel from where they left it to continue doing great things for our God. And so as we go to this Sunday, as we get to this Sunday, when we are at home for the first time in the history of the church, may we remember that there is power in the cross of Jesus Christ. There is power, and we can even overcome because he overcame. He was there, and people never thought that there would be hope. The cross looked like there was no hope because it was hopeless. The person was beaten, and even when the nails were going through, people thought that it was over. But after three days, there was power. There was a revolution. There was power of the cross that makes us to even stand today and preach and tell those who are hopeless to have hope. Even in the country of Kenya, the world today, the, the Prime Minister of Italy said we have done everything possible to make people not to die, but people are still dying. But we are looking at the sky, and the sky is nothing else other than the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. And so, brothers and sisters, members of St. Luke's, and others who are watching us this Sunday, may we have the hope, may we know that there is hope power in the cross of Jesus Christ. And Jesus humbled himself. Even though he was God, 
he never considered that to be anything to boast around. But he went through the humility. He was humiliated. Yet out of the humiliation, we can laugh today. We can share today that there is hope. And that's why I'm saying even there is hope beyond the coronavirus. There is hope. And we are going to live because we're going to, to, to tell of the oracles of our God. And so in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above all names, he went through so that we can call the name of Jesus even in times like this. I know there are those who are going through like our brother Richard, who has just lost a brother. And he, maybe he cannot even understand. He cannot even understand because even there were men in the Bible who did not understand and who questioned and who asked questions. But may the power of the cross come so powerfully so that we can celebrate together the triumph entry and know that even after this, we can still walk again and call upon the name of Jesus. It is the name that is above all names. May this name, may the cross, may the sufferings, may the times that we have spent in our prayers, repenting of our sins, praying for one another that this will come to an end, praying for our country, praying for the president and the ministers and all those that are involved in making sure that we are saved, the nurses, the doctors who are working very hard. And even some of them are being infected in the line of saving lives. May the power of the cross bring joy as we do that we will not turn back, but we shall continue soldiering on because we know whom we have believed. And we know that our tomorrow is better because there is power of the cross. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray and trust that you are going to bless our listeners, the members of St. Luke's, and others who are watching over us. That at a time like this, this Sunday, the Palm Sunday where you got into the, the Jerusalem with a lot of triumph entry so that you could go through the trials, the temptations, being betrayed by the closest friends, even those who stood with you and said they will not deny you, they did it. We pray that you may give us the spirit of forgiveness, perseverance with one another, so that even when we don't see eye to eye, we can shake hands and say it is well, because Christ did it at the cross. We bless your holy name that in him we have hope. We have hope even beyond what we are going through as a nation. Bless us together. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We have now come to the end of uh, this online service. Thank you for watching. And uh, we continue to pray for you as a pastoral team led by Canon. Uh, within the week, if you have anything, don't hesitate to reach on us. Our lines are open uh, using either personal lines or the office line. We now welcome the praise and worship team uh, to give us a session hymn.